Hey everybody, it's Andrew Morgan, Cyber Call Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern, joined with two awesome MSPs today, uh, Justin Mursky, DBT Support, and Tim Fournette of Raider. Um, Tim is the CISO of Raider, Justin is the CEO of DBT. Uh, welcome both of you. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, so we're going to be talking about passwordless authentication, passwordless security today. And Tim, the reason I wanted to start with you and have you on is as the CISO of your company, you get all of the cyber renewals and, you know, you're telling me, hey, Andrew, take a look at this. It's not just MFA, you know, with email and applications. Uh, it seems to get be getting very broad. Can you? Give us a sense of what you're seeing, Tim. Yeah, we're starting to see like an extra page on some of these renewals asking for MFA on everything. So not just email, PCs, networks, servers, uh, and anything that your service provider accesses. So it's it's definitely growing every year and uh, you know, raising questions. Interesting. Uh, and t Tim, you and I also were talking about attestation. So like, in other words, um, I'm thinking of, you know, you have a home and you say, oh, I've got no trampoline in my backyard. Well, someone gets hurt on that trampoline. Uh, guess what? That policy is null and void. Is, is that what you're seeing? Yeah. Um, I mean, these things aren't just suggestions. A lot of times they're requirements to get the, the policy and for the policy to be enforceable. And there's even a section on there that, you know, where you sign off as, as the client saying that you went over this with your MSP and, and you understand all these things. Interesting. So then, Justin, you're taking it a step further you, and you go up market. You know, some of your clients are as large as a thousand employees and you're seeing the larger ones that are getting these renewals just saying, skip it, let's just go right to passwordless authentication. We're gonna be showing a little about what passwordless authentication is today, um, but talk to us about what you're seeing and if you could you know, let us, if, give us a little insight on that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, our customer base is really understanding that adding MFA on top of complex passwords and all of these requirements for end users is really challenging for the end users, especially the ones that are not uh, as computer savvy. So by implementing passwordless authentication, we're actually making it easier for the end users and in turn eliminating a fairly sizable amount of help desk tickets, either for the internal IT department or for managed service providers, which makes an MSP more profitable in the end. Tim, what, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, so, Justin, what kind of reduction in tickets on, you know, whether it's, you know, help with MFA, password resets, like what kind of reductions are you seeing? Yeah. So uh, on average, it's about 30 percent reduction in tickets uh, for most of our customers. Some some are higher depending on on the customer base and, and what their uh, trends tend to be. Wow, it's pretty significant. So I want to ask both of you kind of a, a crystal ball question. Uh, Tim, we'll go with you first and then to Justin. Um, you know, do you feel that eventually because of the issues that Justin's bringing up that carriers might start moving just to going to uh, a passwordless type uh, authentication above and beyond MFA? Yeah, I think it is, you know, if it's being proven to be more secure, and, and I'm, I'm sure it is, then they're absolutely go that way. If you, you know, look at what's going on with all the requirements and all the changes and uh, what's happening in the ins insurance industry, uh, they just had a ransomware payment that they, the insurers themselves had to pay. So uh, I think we'll be looking at, at more and more controls coming. And if, if this is a way to make it easier, then uh, it sounds great, actually. <laughs> Justin, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, I, I've worked in this space for a while. Large enterprise is really adopting this, and and it's starting to make its way down to mid market. And and uh, you know we're really excited to to, to be working on this and, and helping customers and MSPs go that route. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to see you guys at one p.m. Eastern today. Uh, I'll put the link in the LinkedIn and make it a great day, everybody. Thank you.